if time and space are continuous, as it were, shoot an arrow and have it hit the wall. Why can't I shoot? Of course I can shoot an arrow and hit the wall. What the hell are you talking about, right? You know, I'll do it right now and show you I can do it. No, 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 you can't. Why not? Well, because suppose space and time are continuous. So you shoot the arrow. In order to get to the wall, you'll agree it has to pass the halfway mark. And then between there and the wall, there's another halfway mark. And then again, and then again, and then again, and then again. I always subdivide by half. Now, if, if space and time are continuous, that set of divisions never ends. For the arrow to get to the wall, you have to complete an infinite sequence. But you can't complete an infinite sequence. To complete a sequence of tasks, you have to get to the last one. But in an infinite sequence, there is no last one. So you can't complete it. So that means the arrow can never get to the wall. There's something wrong with that argument. It's not true that to complete a sequence, you have to get to the last one. To complete a sequence, you have to do every one. If there's no last one, so what? As long as you do every one, you completed the sequence. So this is Aristotle's answer. There's an infinite sequence of these spatial units, a half and then a quarter and then an eighth and then, you know, always going down by half. Yes. And time is equally divisible. So there's a period of time in which you will complete that task, that task, that task, that task, that task.